All right, this is my Aztec pinball, and I am going to mod this upper portion. I'm pretty sure, but not positive, that this plate is called the upper apron, and it's a metal plate underneath. The, it is an almost identical metal plate that the ball rolls on. This one just covers that. And for some reason, they picked this blue color, which does not appear anywhere else on the cabinet, the play field, or the uh, back glass. I think it sticks out. I think it looks ugly. It's always bothered me. I think it's just some stock piece they kind of had, so they just pick one. It was already painted, and they put it on. Because I think, if I remember, I've seen other play fields, other Aztec play fields, with different color um, plates on top. But uh, we're going to jazz this up a bit. Okay, I spent a little bit of time on Adobe Illustrator and I drew these serpents up and I did my best um, job matching the colors there. So that's good enough for me. I think this looks pretty good. Um, this sticker's gonna go again on the back plate. Now there's two plates on top of each other. They're actually the exact same dimensions. This one, the ball rides along and uh, it's really, it must have got rained on or something. This cabinet, I could tell because there's water damage to it, but we're going to take this off, sand it, and I'm thinking going for some super reflective gold spray paint. Um, I think gold would look good with the red, and it would pop, reflect some more light in this game. Uh, so I'm going to put a uh, scotch pad on the drill, rough this up, and then tape this edge right here so that the um, ball, when it rolls on, it doesn't pick up the paint, the gold paint. And uh, and then once we get that on, then we can do sand and paint the upper plate, uh, put the sticker on. I might laminate this first because it's it'll um, help saturate the colors just a little bit more. This red is just a tiny bit more saturated than this red. On camera, I don't know if you can tell, but... This should look pretty good. I'll be excited to see what happens. So, Hey, this is Rustoleum Metallic Gold. There's a the number right there. It's got some weird spots. It's not going uh not going on smooth at all. So, I'm guessing I need a primer. Hmm. I mean, that's totally clean metal. I don't know why I'd do that. But it does look like where the staining was. I guess it wasn't totally clean. Wow, it seems to be drying really fast. I'll just try a few coats since I'd have to clean it off anyway. Maybe I can get away with it. I think this is going to look good. Yeah, a little, let's see, you see those little spots there? It's just not taking. So, shoot, I'm going to have to clean this up, prime it, and then uh, paint it. I redid it off camera, but the sanding, priming, and then repainting did the trick. It came out really nice. Now this upper plate just needs to be cleaned and then the edge painted black. I'm just painting it where the sticker doesn't cover because the sticker will be placed back about an eighth of an inch from the edge of this plate. Here I'm spraying on some Rapid Tack.
This liquid really allows you to remove it and reposition it as many times as you like so you can get it just perfect. Now I'm using the back peel of the sticker to protect the image while I squeegee out the liquid. You get these micro scratches sometimes you see in certain angles of light. So, And uh, this top of the sticker is has a laminate across it and that might scratch so I'm just being careful. And just trim off the sides and the back. And here it is. I think it looks pretty good. Rather than cut out the screw holes, I just used my soldering iron and burned them out. I'm putting back the metal spacer. And right now you can see how nice the gold came out. I'll probably paint some more stuff gold in this cabinet. These screws that hold this plate in, I also painted the heads black. It just looks nicer. If you do this, be careful not to tighten the screws too hard because it will twist the sticker. So now this really makes this metal bracket stick out and look ugly. It has chrome that's peeling off and it's missing one of these black rubber pads. I found some replacement pads that are close enough match and they fit really well. So I removed the peeling chrome, sanded it down and used a stainless steel spray paint and it just came out looking great. I really like how it looks. I polished the heads of these screws. I just put them in a drill and use some um, metal polish. And there it is. I hope you guys like it. It was a lot of fun to do. I'm super pleased with it. I think it looks awesome. I absolutely love it. Super pleased. Uh, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully, and take care.